Hi, I'm Joe Yonan. I'm the food editor of the Washington Post, and I'm here today with Brian Voltaggio, who's the chef of Charlie Palmer Steak, and Kim O'Donnell from WashingtonPost.com. And we're here to help you with what we think is one of the most anxiety-producing things that can happen this holiday season, which is carving the Thanksgiving turkey. The first thing I think that uh, you want to remember is once the turkey comes out of the oven, it's going to be really, really hot. And the juices that are inside the turkey are going to be essentially going to be like boiling. Just, just as a, a pot of water is on the stove, you know, it's moving rapidly. That's what's going on inside the turkey right now. What you want to do is give it some time to cool back down. Okay. You know, to, if, if you want to use a thermometer right now, it should be at about 165 degrees. Okay. That's the finished uh, temperature for a turkey. Maybe you want to cool it down to about 150, 140. Just let it sit on the board for a little while. It's going to be plenty hot to serve. Uh, it will keep temperature in, internally. It will stay really warm for at least a half an hour. So you have a lot of time. So you're ready to carve, and I notice one thing here that I'm already seeing and I know mm -hmm. is different from what a lot of people may do at home, which is you've got it on a cutting board. You're not Absolutely. prepared to slice it right on the platter, which I think a lot of people would do. Why? Well, two reasons. You want to have a real flat surface because you're going to want to, you're going to use your knife and you're going to cut all the way down through the joints of the bird. Okay. Um, so you want to make sure that you have a, a nice flat surface because if you're using the platter, you might cut into one of these uh, ridges on the Dull platter. Dull your knife. Dull your knife and also make maybe a nasty even sound. <laughs> scratch your platter too. Right. If I bring this out um, to my table mm -hmm. and, and I want to carve it in front of people, what's the first thing I should do? You tell everybody to get a fork and knife and go around the bird and just, you know. <laughs> that sounds like the my best. Uncle. The best way to start is you're going to want to start with the legs. Before, okay. you, before you go there mm -hmm. though, I'm noticing you've got one of those pitchforky things. Yeah. And I'm curious about the kind of knife that you're using. Mm -hmm. It looks like a long sort it's of carving. It's a long, very Slicing sharp, knife. you want to make sure it's a very sh uh, sharp knife because once you're cutting, you don't want to tear the meat. If you use a serrated knife or something like that, uh, you have a, a tendency to tear at the flesh of the meat. Okay. And what that will do is actually release more juices from the meat and, and make it a little bit more drier. And a fork is important also that you use something that's pretty sharp, has two points, uh -huh. so that you're not piercing the bird all over the place because that'll also release the juices from the, from the turkey. See. What you want to do is use your fork to stabilize the leg. And uh, right next to the drumstick, uh, you can cut down in between the breast. I see, yeah. And, and what you're doing is you're going to cut all the way down to the board. You should hear the board. Mm. And then securely, you're just pulling that back. Place your fork on the right side of the bone. That way you can pull it back so that you can see better. Yeah. And get all the way down into the joint. And once you get down there, you'll find there's a joint where the leg meets. Mm -hmm. that's, and that's the part where you want to release. And then once you've removed the leg, uh, what you'll want to do is find the joint between a drumstick and the thigh, which is typically right at the top. Is there a way to eyeball that or with your finger? I know that sounds uh, you kind can. of weird, but... You, you would be able to find it right at the end of the, right at the, it's like the, the peak curve, of that curve, right at the curve of the leg, okay, of, of the drumstick. You can also just cut straight down in between the two. You'll you'll find it right in the mm -hmm. middle there, okay, and yeah. just simply cut right through. Mm -hmm. okay. and should you should be able to cut through with really no resistance. And if you mm -hmm. find resistance, just just adjust your blade. I have never done bit. this right before, by the way, because I've never encountered no resistance. <laughs> <laughs> it, it is tough. I mean, the first couple of times it, it will take some practice, and then you'll naturally find them. Um, so once you have the the drumstick, a lot of people like to either serve that whole, or yeah. you can simply slice that um, by holding the end of it. Nice shortcuts yep. and then you would place that onto your platter. I I have people in my I'm family. I'm partial to eating it um, caveman style. Yes. Absolutely. You have to have at you least like one presentation at the like fair. <laughs> so you place that onto your platter and then the thigh cut down one side of the bone separating it in two. Okay. And then you have this great, nice piece of meat here mm -hmm. that you just simply slice mm -hmm. on a bias mm -hmm. and then fan it out onto your plate. You cut into the breast like, like so mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. in long strokes. Mm -hmm. um, trying to thin pieces. Right, yeah. nice and thin. You're trying eyeballing that skin too, Joe? I, I yes. am eyeballing that skin. How did you know, Kim? <laughs> <laughs> uh, you could just serve me all skin at Thanksgiving. I'd be happy. <laughs> um, that way you, you end up with nice, uh, thin presentation slices. 
You just want to hold the bird in place with the fork. Mm -hmm. And then make your first cut, your initial cut. It's going to be a little tough getting through the skin at first. Just put a little bit of pressure. There you go. There you and once go. you get in, th into the flesh, then just a nice stalling motion, even strokes all the way down. There you go. You get a nice, a long, little... thin slice. That's perfect. Hmm. <laughs> you got a future. Perfect in my table. Okay. <laughs> at this point, um, what you, you could, could do is... start just, chopping away. Yeah, and you, you can use your hands a little bit. Mm -hmm. If you hold the end of the wing, it's not mm -hmm. that big of a deal. Yeah. Because you actually get a little bit more leverage. You can mm -hmm. pull it back. And the same, same with the thigh. It has that ball joint. Mm -hmm. um, and you just want to cut in between. And you'll see naturally you'll be able to cut right through it. Um, you serve the wings whole, pretty much. Serve the yeah. wings whole. So then the second presentation that you can do is... This is for if you're... If you're um, going to carve gonna it in your it kitchen. Out of sight. Mm -hmm. Same thing. You're going to want to start with the leg. Mm -hmm. Cut all the way down to the board with the tip of your knife. Find a little bit of resistance, and then you could just split it. And then to do this in the kitchen, to make it a little bit easier on yourself, um, you want to find the top of the bone. The breastbone, the which is right here, point, yeah. and you'll be able to feel it with your fork, mm -hmm. or you simply touch it right mm -hmm. here. The part that you can't cut through. <laughs> right, right. And you just want to use that as a guide for your knife all the way down. Oh, so you're just taking the entire breast off. Mm -hmm. I've never done it this way. Yeah. I'm going to actually turn this around here, just because you're going to want to do this yourself, um, just so you can get a better cut with the tip of your blade towards the front of the breast. So this way, you'll get. Well, the I like chance that. to, I, I like that way. and then you can just do cut it nice straight even down. slices. Mm. Absolutely. And this is good. It looks like it's good for if you want maybe thicker slices. Mm -hmm. You you can really control them. And it's also good if you only use half of the breast and mm -hmm. you have the other one for leftovers. Mm -hmm. um, so you want to make sandwiches the next day. Mm -hmm. Take the whole breast off, wrap it up in mm -hmm. plastic, and that way it stays nice and moist. It doesn't dry out. Wow. It's it's not it's not a bad thing to taste a turkey as you're carving. Yeah, especially I, I especially believe in the, that. the carvers get the first I believe, taste. I believe in that. That's so. That's, thank you. You're welcome. That's amazing. Oh. So juicy. Very nice. Hmm. Thank you so much for showing us how to do this. I think oh, you're this welcome. Is, uh, really helps take a lot of the anxiety away from mm -hmm. people. Happy Thanksgiving. Thanks.